Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. On the last episode, we continued with our preparations to go into Shido's palace, including doing our confidence, and we even got Futaba to rank 10. And we're going to continue doing that in this episode. However, before we get to that, I feel... I feel like this is worth mentioning, because, uh... It's a very famous Persona, but... Down there, at the bottom, Mara. For people who don't know, Mara has a very uh, infamous reputation in the Shin Megami Tensei series for uh, its form and how it looks. I'm just going to say this straight up, if you're not a big fan of uh, phallic imagery, I recommend skipping ahead about two minutes, maybe even just 60 seconds, because uh, it's not for the faint-hearted. Giving you three seconds, two... One. Would you take a look at that? That is, uh... Mmm. Mmm, yes. That is a good penis monster on a chariot. <laughs> that is definitely what that is. But anyway, yeah. I feel like it was worth noting because it's such a famous persona for how it looks. So... It will serve us well with uh, doing these confidants. Anyway, Haru. Do you want to look at my phallic persona? Nah, let's just hang out. Vegetables aren't quite ready yet, but they will be soon. <laughs> I'm thinking of going to find some books to help me study coffee. Would you mind coming with me? Study coffee? Are you getting interested in brewing coffee, Haru? Yeah. How about Jimbocho? It would be the perfect place to look. Well, let's get going. And I've bought so many boats from that place. I see. There are di eight different ways to roast coffee beans. Apparently, the light roast is the most acidic. It says here that the type of roast you want to should differ, di should differ depending on how you want to drink your coffee. Huh. That is... That's actually quite fascinating. It is! I think I'd like to try hand roasting each type someday. To be honest. You know, Okumura Foods didn't start out as a burger chain. Originally, it was nothing more than a small cafe run by my grandfather. That particular shop closed before I was old enough to appreciate the finer intricacies of coffee. I know I said that word wrong, shut up. But that's where the real origin of our family business lies. Oh, sorry, voice crack. But yeah, I had no idea. I didn't either. My father only mentioned it to me a year or two ago. Um. At any rate, after my grandfather passed, the company shut the cafe down due to its steady loss of revenue. He had never cared about turning a profit, though. His only goal was to make people happy. He built a strong community around the cafe, He'd even give out free meals to those who couldn't afford it. Then the day it, when the day that it closed came, people lined up for blocks to give flowers. They really loved that place. But... I wonder how many people would line up for Big Bang Burger if it suddenly went out of business. I know we need to do well to keep our employees paid, but I can't help but think we've lost something important. I mean... Takakura-san seems to only be focused on profits. At this rate, we'll never lose our black image. <laughs> you mean black like coffee? Huh? huh? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Sorry, it was a lame excuse of a joke, I know. <laughs> You're so funny, you say, Kun. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that, but uh, people keep on telling me I am, so I keep doing what I do. You were trying to cheer me up, weren't you? Thanks for that. No problem. <sighs> I think what I really need is to get stronger. I mean, I can act tough in front of my employees, but you know how weak I am inside. And? I have a plan, though. Before I can really determine who I can trust, I first need to know what it means to have others trust in me. So I'm going to get stronger, Strong enough for you and the others to rely on me. 
Sounds like a plan. I think you're stronger than you give yourself credit. All right. Suddenly proved my your strength to me in battle plenty of times before. And you look damn good while you do it. Hmm. Hmm. But how am I supposed to gain the trust of my employees? I'm not great at public speaking, and even just giving my opinion makes me a little nervous. Haru? Oh. Huh? It's you. S sigamura san what are you doing here? I was just heading home from a business engagement when I saw you from my car window. Hmm? Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You're one of those brats from before. Um, um this is our friend from school. He's helping me look for some books today. Anyway, we should get back to uh, be getting back to our shopping. Please excuse us. Uh, hold on, Haru. You think you can go on a date with another man and leave your fiancé in the dust? You are not my fiancé. I already said I'm not going to marry you. Oh yeah? What about the contract I made with your father? The father is no longer here. Besides, marriage is something you go into with your own free will. A contract would never hold the same weight. Are you sure about that? Think about the rep reparations clause. If you back out of, out of the deal now, you will lose everything you own. Okamura Foods, your estate. Even so, I... And what about your employees? Are you really willing to put their jobs on the line for the sake of your selfishness? Besides, this marriage is exactly what Okamura Foods needs right now. My father would have no trouble managing your shares or sweeping away your company's tarnished image. Back off, dude. Oh, that reminds me. Did Takakura-san tell you about the wedding hall? He got us the Phoenix Wing at the Wilton. Huh? What? He made a provisional reservation for ten days this coming spring. After all, the sooner the better. W wait a minute! Oh, we'll have to look into our guest schedules as well. There'll be over 300 of them, you know. Takakura-san can handle Okamura Foods in the meantime. Why don't you go stop by the gym or something, Haru? I mean, if you have time to mess around with this punk, you damn well have time to be getting a little thinner. A hey, buddy, back off! She looks fine and great the way she is, I'll have you know. Rude! I'm out of here. God, what a grade-A scumbag! I'm sorry about that. Hey, you don't need to apologize for anything. Um, you're not wrong about that. He has everything. Fame, intelligence, manners. <laughs> I mean, I disagree with the intelligence part, but that's just me. The only thing he needs now is a wife he can control. And I guess I'm the perfect target. He's going to get Okamura Foods as well as my entire inheritance. And I'm totally powerless, powerless against him. Hey, be strong, Haru. Remember, you gotta find that strength that you want to find. You're right. I can't afford to drag myself down with such negativity. Thank you. No problem. Um, um anyway, um, I hope I can share with you again some other time. For today, though, I'm rather tired. Would it be okay if we parted here? Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Man. Freaking asshole. Oh, he's gonna get what he's what's coming to him. Can I steal his heart? Is that a thing I can do? Please tell me that's a thing I can do. Anyway, for now, let's not worry about that. Let's just put our minds at ease with some reading. Let's see, today, I guess we'll be playing, or oh, reading even, playing the game. Tips from a famous pickup artist. Learn to charm, to hook up with someone. 
I mean, I already got a girlfriend, so I don't think I'll really need to do that, but eh, might be a fun read. The ABCs of picking up ladies. Mm. This picture of the author, that smug grin just irritates me. Yeah, I gotta, be, gotta agree with you there. Oh. I can already imagine it. So you finished reading playing the game. It was just a sleazy book about picking up girls, but it did have some good chips about being charming. Well, I got something out of it, I guess. All right. <sighs> well, I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to think, how could I help out Haru? It's definitely a very difficult di um, position to be in. Well, that will require a lot of delicacy. Anyway, have you been well, Yosei? Um, yeah. A and you guys? We're all fine. Jelly, you get to ditch school and all. Anyways, everything on TV and even online is irritating as shit. Not a day goes by that we don't see Shido on the news. Same with Akechi. All that genius detective stuff is a lot of bullcrap. It makes me sick how quick they both are to act like heroes. Honestly, the people who believe that rubbish are just as bad. Totally. Everyone's been going on about the end of the year elections like it's some kind of festival. Yes, this political season is nothing more than a party for most of them. But depending on how we approach this, this might actually be a good opportunity for us. We will take advantage of this promotion to execute our mission. It will be a great distraction. Considering all the attention they're getting, the appearance of the Phantom Thieves will be huge. Let's show them the Phantom Thieves are still going as strong as ever! It's your call when we meet. Just be careful, okay? Yeah, don't worry. Alright. For now, it's time to meet up for a ki with a kid that we haven't met up with in a long time. Hey there, Shinya. How you doing? Kaiba san hey listen oh yeah that's right we changed the heart of your mother so did something uh did something unexpected happen <laughs> yeah then come with me hey they really did it the phantom thieves did it <laughs> my mom really did have a change of heart when I got home, my mom cooked dinner. She made my favorite, hamburger steak. And then she admitted that she was wrong and apologized to me for getting so mad about everything. She broke down crying and told me that she'll be a better mother from now on. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. It's all thanks to the Phantom Thieves and you, Kayaba-san. Actually... I guess winning and losing doesn't matter when it comes to just being happy. What do you mean? Well, isn't it true? The reason my mom was able to change is that she lost to the Phantom Thieves. Losing wasn't the end at all. It brought my real mom back. Man, I'm so happy right now. Am I weird for feeling happy about losing? I mean, all I cared about was before was winning. <laughs> nah, it just means you've matured. You're learning from failure. Huh? Well, not failure, but... Ah, you get what I mean. R really? Well, you might be right. Looking back on how obsessed I was with winning, I can see I was just acting like a kid. I want to get stronger. Strong enough so that I can protect my mom. I realized something from you and the Phantom Thieves. Instead of destroying others, protecting and saving people is what makes a person strong. You listened to my problems and even confronted my mom for me. I guess that was pretty cool of you. <laughs> Thanks, kid. You're no longer a shit kid now, Oda. All right. You've grown up in my eyes. Hey. By the way, do you remember Takakuma, the pro who beat me? 
Uh, yeah? I heard more rumors uh, that he was uses illegal armor. I wonder why he's cheating. I mean, he wants to win at all costs. Some people just don't care how they get to that goal. Yeah, I kind of understand how he feels. I might have cheated too, if I had known how. But I don't feel like that any at all anymore. Okay, I'm gonna head home. Hey, Kyversen, are the Phantom Thieves... Uh, never mind. Bye. Uh, he's an intuitive kid, this one. He's gonna catch on. I can already tell. Later. Let's play again sometime. And when we do play, it'll be for fun. Ah, you're back. Hey, Sojiro. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be going away right this second because we've got another person that we need to max out right now. Hello, Chihaya. How have you been, girl? Man, we've been for a lot ever since the whole fortune-telling debacle. Oh, you're, you're alive, yet at the same time you're dead. <laughs> Still going on about that. There's something I'd like to ask you. Uh, please, have a seat. Sure thing. Yes. yes, please sit down. The members seem to be doing well now. I do a phone consultation with them from time to time, and they're all very cheerful. Oh, really? That's great. That goes for my fortune teller customers as well. I've been getting thanked a lot more lately, even by the people who get bad fortunes. Particularly when I tell them they can alter their fate. <laughs> so you're a true believer in breaking free of destiny, eh? Hey, you mind if I book a telephone consultation? Yeah, you've changed. A lot. That's very true. All I used to say before was that they were going to face misfortune. I had a best friend in the town I used to live in. She was the first person I read a fortune for. When she started avoiding me, I read the fortune of our fate. And? It was a terrible result. But I prayed that it would somehow work out. However, that never happened. That's when I started to believe that fate couldn't be changed. No surprise though, right? Because I didn't take action on my part to try and change it. Hey. It's never too late, you know? You might be able to still... Um, fix that friendship of yours. Right? I haven't talked to her in years. Maybe I'll try contacting her sometime. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, like I said, it's never too late. Yeah, you're right. Oh, could this be? Conviction is amazing! Her feet and mine are connected! I will no longer be swayed by names like Monster or Maiden. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits. So that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. <laughs> Damn right, girl. You go get them. And I'll be there to support you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can't let my fortune teller get lost on me, you know? I still need a little bit of luck every now and then. Now, it's your turn to speak. Huh? What would your conviction be as a phantom thief? <laughs> ah, you figured it out, huh? Sorry. I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. I couldn't help but think that you had something to do with the chairman's confession. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes a sensation in the world. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. Heh, 
It's a pretty roundabout way of finding out, I must admit. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. I must admit, you're pretty sharp. <laughs> I got you good, didn't I? Hey, don't get too ahead of yourself. This trickster still has a few tricks up his sleeve. But I don't care what your true identity is. As long as you're around, I can always be my true self. So, it's fine. Only... The fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. You know what, Shahaya? How about we just... Leave this one as a surprise, huh? This is a fate I want to find out for myself. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like it. But thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Don't worry. It's... It's not a problem. You're right. You have the power to alter fate. Besides... I'll be by your side. As the fortune teller who changes fates, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. <laughs> Thank you, Jaya. <laughs> Man, your doodle's pretty cute. Also, so good to see you smiling. Granting thee infinite power. Chima Chihaya Mifune has now reached rank 10. Special Fate Reading provides a preview of all abilities for a confidant of your choice. A little bit late, but appreciated nonetheless. All right. You can now fuse Lachmi, the most powerful persona of the Wheel of Fortune Arcana. Still, what a strange sequence the cards were in when I read the fortune about your true identity. Several cards with strong personalities gathered around the trickster. It's quite improbable. It was almost as if it were trying to connect them together. Huh. <laughs> no kidding, yeah? You either have amazing charisma, or you're a trouble magnet. Eh, little bit of column A, little bit of column B. <laughs> the verification tests are over, but don't forget about me, okay? I won't. Please, visit again sometime. Will do. Goodbye! But please just remember, I'm taken. <laughs> See ya, Shahaya. You definitely will still be useful to us, especially with those fortune-telling powers of yours. Also, it'll be just good to see you. This might be the first time I actually care about an election. Isn't Shido cool? How about you? A charismatic politician can make even apathetic young people excited, hmm? Not only does Mr. Shido have a good judgement and decisiveness, he has important qualities as a leader. Like communication skills, don't you think his words are easy to understand and resonate with you? Everyone's getting tricked by his facade. They don't know it's all lies. We have to make him show his true colors. Will it really be that easy, though? I'm not so sure. Hey. 18 days left. We don't really have time to be relaxing, you know. I'm not relaxing, cat. For God's sake, give me a little bit of credit. Anyway, this is going to be a very weird day today, because this is going to be the day where we start 
taking on the retro games that we've collected um, throughout our adventure. And that's actually going to be a lot of what it's going to be these next few days, I believe. Um, but, um, actually, mm, sorry, looking over at my notes. No, looks like it's only going to be to today. There's going to be um, a part later f uh, forward in time where it's just going to be day after day of doing retro games, but uh, we're still good for now. But anyway, also, apparently, if we watch the TV, there'll be an Easter egg. We're bringing you today's Discovery Town Detectives, all the way from Yasuo Inaba. <laughs> of course. We're here in front of Marikyu Tofu, which is the home of the famous idol Rosette. Rize Kujikawa went on hiatus for a bit, but maybe her unwavering appeal is from the power of tofu. <laughs> Still selling tofu, eh? Can I help out that grandmother of yours there? Uh? Anyway. Now what it recommends is that I save very quickly, because apparently this is not guaranteed to um, work the first time around, so... I have to be careful of that. Um, I was actually trying to play the TV cat. There we go. Oh yeah, you can watch DVDs now, right? We should go to a rental shop sometime. Come to think of it, you bought a game console, right? Alright, now we can play games. Wow, this is a really late tutorial to get right now. Playing video games will cause time to pass, but various stats will increase depending on what game is played. Just like in real life. Games are made up of several levels. Completing one level will fill in one cartridge icon. The game has been beaten when all icons are finished. Oh. So, what do you want to do? Yeah, let's play a game. And we're going to play... Uh, what are we going to play? What does this recommend? Sorry, give me a second. Star... Star Fornius. Sure, a retro space shooting game. Playing should give you guts. I don't think it actually matters what order we do these in. But, I'd rather be careful. Oh, they actually showed the screen and everything? Oh, that's awesome. Let's start up Starfornius. God, they made music and everything? That's, that's really cool. This game is about space battles, huh? And I guess this little thing here is your spaceship? Whoa, you're blasting away the enemy's ships one by one. Not bad for a beginner. Oh. There aren't any enemies on screen now. D do you? Did you win? Please tell me I won. Well, what the heck? That thing is huge. It must be the boss. Hey, I think you're supposed to aim for the core in the middle. <laughs> Shoot the tentacles to open the core. Try focusing your fire on it. Okay, try to press the X button to the designated number of times within the specified time limit. Oh, what you mean, like mash? I, I mashed. I mashed super hard. Sorry, I was concentrating very hard on mashing. On um, mashing, even. Amazing! It's blowing up. Hey. Wow, you actually managed to beat the level. I'm impressed. I bet jumping into the enemy barrage increase your guts. <laughs> hey, what's a shmup without reckless abandon for your ship? It's actually nice that you have a little bit of interactivity. That took a really long time. We should probably start playing games for now, don't you think? Uh, Cat, you have a lot to learn about playing video games. Rule number one, enough is never enough. Even when it's causing problems in your actual real life, never stop. But uh, anyway, we are going to go over to, not Shibuya, where's uh, Shinjuku, because apparently we also got a new book available for us to buy. So let's, on, let's head on over to the bookstore and buy it. Welcome! Whoa, you look kind of young. Yeah, yeah, tell it to someone who doesn't know. Anyway, Game Secrets, a compilation of tricks for every video game. Makes any game easy. Oh man, is this like, um... Oh, did we just buy like a copy of like Nintendo Power or something? Like obviously... Um, I don't know this because I wasn't around or alive um, during the time when this was super popular, but... 
from people that I've watched online, I heard about how you had to, like, ring a 1-800 number in order to get game secrets. And it's just so, it's so weird to think that you can gain a lot of tips just by researching it online. If anything, it's actually harder not to get spoiled on games nowadays, which is kind of sad in a weird way. Anyway, Make game secrets. Closer. Ah, I see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. Of course! It's not a programming bug, it's a secret technique. Wow. Secret technique, huh? Sounds like something the Phantom Thieves would use, uh, I think. I mean, we could. Oh. So you finished reading Game Secrets. It was full of secret techniques for a bunch of games. We could beat any video game we want now. Well, I guess it's up to you whether you actually want to use any of these cheats. All right. Okay, now you know all these secrets and cheats for video games. You can use these to lower the difficulty of the games, thus making them easier to beat. <sighs> well, I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. Or we could stay up all night playing video games, Cat. Did you think about that? I think it's a very good idea. Video games. I heard Shido's approval rating went up again. This election's already decided. I mean, I can't imagine anyone but Shido in office. It'd be nice to have a strong country! Like the good old days! Shido has this in a bag. I can't wait for the election. Yeah, and I can't wait to stop hearing the name Shido. It's already December. This has been a rough year. N those Phantom Thieves incidents were horrible. I never thought terrorists would attack this Tokyo. I'm glad the election's almost here. We'll be able to breathe easy with Masayoshi Shido in office. Yes, he seems promising. It's looking like next year will be a better year. I should have known. Do we not see the disaster that looms in the distance? Failure is intolerable. We must act swiftly. God, it's so nice to see all the other characters in the train for a change. And watching their reactions to people talking. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Once again, we got another person um, up to rank 10, and that ain't gonna stop um, in the next episode of Let's Play Persona 5. So, if you like this episode, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.